guys and welcome to another video. So today I'm visiting Freddie here and Freddie is a trick rider and I'm going to be having a go at trick riding myself so it'll probably be a very interesting video. So Freddie's just going to quickly introduce himself and just let us know all the other amazing things that he does. So uh, yeah, like George said, my name is Freddie um, and I've got a horse training business um, with horse behaviour and therapy and things like that. Um, alongside that I provide horses for film, TV and shows as well. Um, so that can include anything from normal riding, trick riding, which we're going to learn today, uh, horse archery, um, classical equitation, the list goes on really. Um, you'll see, see some uh, bits today and other stuff. Um, over on my socials and channel and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, trick riding today. So I learnt trick riding four years ago I started learning. Is that it? Uh, yeah, that's it. Wow. That's it. But I've been riding since I was four. Um, I learnt with the Russian Cossacks over in Russia um, and they are the best in the world. So where trick riding actually came from is battle. It came from battle and uh, they call it, well it's the sport over there called Jigatovka. Okay, Jig, it, Tov, ka. and it's spelt nothing like that because it's all <laughs> Russian and it's all squiggly and everything else. But we can show you the spelling. Um, <laughs> and that's the, the least there. That's the least of it. Um, so they uh, go over there and they compete in it and do shows in it. So obviously, when the Cossacks, uh, a little bit of history, when the Cossacks um, sort of lost power and things like that, a lot of people had these horse skills. Um, so there wasn't a sport initially, it was used in circus and uh, you get a lot of Russian circus performers around the world and this is why, because they took their skills over and made it into a show and so nowadays it's a show and a modern sport um, as well. So we're going to be learning a little bit about some of the tricks and how they're judged and uh, stuff in competition but then how to make them a little bit more jazzy for shows as well and for the audience to see. Hopefully we won't fall off. <laughs> <laughs> It's freezing, it Georgia, it's freezing. Let's get warmed up before we jump on the horses just so we don't break anything. Uh, we don't want any more breakages, do we? No, I've had no, no more broken bones, no more twisted ankles, no more anything like that. So yeah, we'll get warmed up. Let's, okay. let's go for a little jog first. Let's go this way. <sighs> See, we haven't got very far to go. If we just go up and down here a couple of times, at least we don't have very far to go. And then let's sidestep facing that way. And then we'll switch in the middle. This was not... Switch? Like that? Yeah, the other way. Okay. You didn't sign up for this, did no, you? I did not sign up for oh, That's that. right. High knees, let's go. <laughs> heel flex, when we get to the middle, let's go. Heels, heels, heels. I'm not a fitness influencer, Freddie. Oh yeah, no, neither am I. <laughs> right, let's have a little stretch. That's enough. That's enough moving, that's enough. Just get the blood going, just get the heart going a little bit. <laughs> And then backwards, small amounts of energy, or well, large amounts of energy, but for small amounts of time. Yeah. So imagine weightlifting, all of it goes into like 10 seconds. Yeah. It's the same with the trick. You're using every muscle in your body for about 10 seconds, and then you can relax again. So um, yeah, to make sure things don't break and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I won't, I'll try not to. <laughs> right, good. Now we'll see your balance. <laughs> as soon as you said that, I wanted to fall over. You're not too bad. I'm quite impressed. Thank you. You're not even doing that trick, or what is it? Hold your nose, hold you your nose. Something. I don't know. There's so many, so many old wives' tales, isn't there? So yeah, it's really trick riding's a lot of explosive strength, um, okay. and you'll be able to tell me later <laughs> what muscles but you won't be really be able to define it oh, i can't really define it different <laughs> tricks use different I muscles and think yeah it just hurt all over that sort of thing right 10 sit-ups come on let's go come on come on come on <laughs> i've lost count of you <laughs> to know <laughs> so, here's Dizzy, meet Dizzy. Dizzy is a horse that everyone falls off, everyone learns on. Um, yeah, so she's the first one out today. And here is a, a 
Cossack trick riding saddle. Um, if you want to come a little bit closer, I'll show you some of the features we've got on the saddle. So the pommel, every trick riding saddle has a pommel and a back handle, okay? They can vary depending on the saddle. I don't know anyone with the, exactly the same saddle as I do. They're custom made to you and your horse, so everyone's got a slightly different thing that they prefer, but they've all usually got those sort of things. Um, your stirrup leather and your stirrup, but underneath we've got, uh, in Russia it's called a gashovka, okay, but it's just like a belly strap that ties the two stirrups together because for certain tricks you'll sort of hang off of that um, stirrup leather and that sort of thing. It would have three girths but I've taken the girths off because Dizzy's not a very traditional shape for a horse. Um, so instead we've got a couple of stirrup leathers holding her down um, while, while we sort of learn and things like that. Um, but yeah, it's great to learn. Obviously, we've got to remember the pommel's good because we've got to remember a horse has a neck and a head. So when we're learning, we need to be aware of a neck and a head. Um, yeah, so we look after, look after horses. I don't think I'm going to take that position while you're learning, just to be on the safe side, but you'll never know. So what we'll do to begin with, we'll learn how to get on okay. first because there's numerous different ways. So the golden rule with trick riding is straight legs and pointy toes. So like a ballerina or a diver, because basically it is gymnastics on horseback. Okay, so it needs to be elegant, it needs to be stylish, uh, it needs to be soft on the horse and working with the horse as well. So at all times you want to try and remember straight legs and pointy toes, which is the complete opposite to any other style of riding, which is heels down and toes up. So yeah, we're going to have to change, change that in your head where you're going, oh shit, got to remember <laughs> to point my toes. So I'll show you uh, some different ways to get on. So the first way uh, to vault on, facing the back of the horse and almost like a scissor kick. So I'm going to swing this leg and fling over straight to this position, straight legs and pointy toes. Okay. Uh, getting off, I'm always going to get off with my leg over the front and that's going to be one of the first tricks that we learn. So I'm going to be over here, slide down. Feet facing the front is one of the most key things, okay? So when I get down, my feet want to be here because if my horse is moving, okay, and momentum's in place, everything else, if I'm like this, I'm going to break my ankles, go with my ankles. You don't even, like it's useful information even if you're not trick riding if you have to land on your feet face forwards because then at least you can fall or run this way you're not gonna twist your knees twist your ankles or things like that the other way to get on we can stay facing this way oh did his leg sticking out a little bit is swing this leg and that way straight again to this position notice I'm not really sitting on my bum okay it's almost like I'm trying to imagine I'm standing in my stirrups but without stirrups, if that makes sense. So my legs are, legs are going straight down and I'm using the inside of my thighs to control, to control my body. The last way of getting on, semi-traditional. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the back handle. I'm gonna come to this position here. Notice the straight leg, shoulders facing forwards. Gonna bring the leg over, nice and straight back to this position as well, okay? So what we'll do, we'll try yeah, to vault on her today. I'm probably quite slim, but I still want you getting on nicely, okay? Still want you getting on nicely. So, the first one, we'll go to the first one. I want you to stand here and hold, look how already I'm making my body light. I'm holding myself and I'm on my, on my heels. I'm on my heels, on my toes. You don't want to be on your heels, you want to be on your toes. So I'm nice and light. And then gonna swing this leg. I'll be standing here to help you out. So if you get your leg here, then all you have to do, flick your hip over. Oh. Come on, all oh, that's it. So left hand down there, right hand above it, facing me. Okay. This is so high. <laughs> it's all right. I mean, that's probably about 14.2. How big, Smokey? 14 hands, possibly 13.3. <laughs> no, he's not 13.3. <laughs> this is only a little bit bigger, you're fine. So, we want to swing your left leg. We'll do it on three. So we'll do one, two, and on the third one, we're going to get it up here and we're going to flip over. Okay, ready? So, on your toes, hold your body in your arms. Okay, swing the leg. One, two, three. Go! Perfect. Straight legs. 
pointy toes. Straighter than that. Straighter. Straighter. How can I go straighter? So that's strong, that's strong, 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 strong. There. Okay. So you point in, you're trying to make a hole in the bottom of your trainer there. Okay. That's the position we want. That wasn't bad for first attempt. Okay. I'm quite impressed actually. <laughs> to dismount, bring your right leg up and over the front okay. of the horse. Yeah. So you're going to hold right hand above left. Okay. As you bring your leg over, you're going to swap your hands underneath. Right. So bring that right leg over. This seems harder to bring No, the don't over. just let go because if the because the horse is going, well, hey, you're off the back door. That's what I normally do, yeah. Yeah, right, well, we're going to learn not to. So, that hand's going to come off. That leg's going to come up. Okay. That hand's going to go under. Yeah, that, that hand's going to come ball. off. That hand's going to come there. Yeah. You're going <laughs> to balance, balance yourself out. So, okay. shuffle your bum. Yeah. Sit up. Oh. Shuffle your bum till you're balanced. I'm not balanced. Back. Well, shuffle it. Sort it out. <laughs> sort it out. There. Yeah. Strong. Hold your legs. <laughs> together as if there's magnets between your knees between your ankles yeah. there now you can slide down feet facing the front perfect because we always want to be balanced because obviously the motion of the horse we haven't yeah. got now as soon as the motion comes it's gonna try and drag you to the ground all the time so if ever you don't feel balanced hold on do something don't wait for someone to just sort it out do it let instinct take over of I need to get on I need to grab on rather than you know the people that do rise and trot and they're learning in the riding school and it's like rise and trot, they're rising and yeah. trot. They still rise as they're falling off and boom, they hit the floor. It's like at some point you have to do yeah. something else. That's perfect. Let's do it again. That one, that one. Yep. Yep. Okay. So now you know where your body's going quicker. Yeah. One, two, three. Straight legs, straight legs, straight legs, straight legs. Straight. Good. Good. So even if they bend a little bit, Get them straight as soon as you can, so yeah. then no one will realise. I just want to sit in riding position. This is actually a lot deeper than I thought as well. Like, it's quite comfy. Yeah, it's really comfy. Okay. One of these. Leg over the front. Yep, yep. Like that. Shuffle. Backwards. Oh, I can't shuffle backwards. Yeah. And then your legs there, there sort of 45 like degrees. Yeah. Perfect. Slide down, feet facing the front. Awesome. Awesome, okay. okay, let's do it the other way this time, facing forwards. You're gonna so swing your right leg, okay? And as it comes back, you're gonna push up. I can't help you on this one, unfortunately. Um, so you're gonna swing your legs, and as it's going back, push down with your arms to push yourself up. This is very hard. Start already up here with your arms strong, so then there's less distance for your body to go. Okay, give it a go. You'd have a very angry horse by this point. We're gonna have a. We're gonna have a very tired Georgia at this point. All, all this, uh, all this energy. <laughs> Sorry, it's automatic. Sticking crude. I feel very Arms. stuck. Stuck. Yeah. It's your mind that's stuck. Push, go! Go on, go Almost, that was a good effort. That was a good effort. I think we'll give it that. One. Left hand on the pommel, right hand on the back handle. You're going to pull yourself up, but then turn so your hips are facing me. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Like that. Perfect. Perfect. See, I can do this. <laughs> right hand's then going to come just sort of here, push down to support yourself as you bring your right leg over. Perfect, then that leg's going to come out, back to this position. And what was really nice is because what people normally do that have ridden for loads of years is as soon as your leg comes over the back, yeah. you go like that. But what you did is manage to actually keep it straight, so that's really good. I'm quite Can impressed. Yeah, that's good. Okay, bring your right leg up and over the front. Nice and straight. Shuffle your bum, shuffle your weight. Perfect, there you go. It's happening, it's happening. Slide down, feet facing forwards. Done it. We can get on. We can get on. Yeah. Okay. I'll jump on and show you some of the tricks. Um, we'll practice a little bit the leg over. Okay. okay. So what we've done to this position here. Yeah. Okay. And then the other side. Yeah. Because yeah. we want it to be snappy. Because when we're here, we're balanced. Yeah. When we're here, we're balanced. When we're moving, we're not. Especially with the motion of the horse. So you want to try and make the moves as quick as you can. Okay. Because this this starts off. Um, loads of other tricks, okay? So I'll uh, have a little practice of that. Then we're gonna do a lay across the saddle. So, right hand is going, gonna come on the back handle. 
going to bring that leg up and over the front here. And then I'm going to slide to here and shuffle my bum off the saddle, lie flat and get my elbow into the side. Okay. I'm going to look at the sky, <laughs> going to look forward and I'm going to salute and hopefully I should be fairly flat. Yeah. And then I'm going to, sorry sun's in my eyes, that's why I'm winking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm then going to come from here, hold the back handle, sit up. Yeah, and if you do it quickly, it's like yeah. boom, boom. Okay. okay, both hands on front, that leg over. Three, two, one, go. There you go. Are you balanced? Even if the horse is going along? No. <laughs> That's what it feels like as the horse is going along. <laughs> That's probably a trot. Canters even more. Like, really. So what I need you to do is pull everything, everything, as all your might into the pommel. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go to that side again. Three, two, one, go. Lovely. Shuffle, sort it out. Because you're a little bit, there you go. Keep your body. Okay. That up, that there. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So you're going to pull against <laughs> yeah. them. Good. And then back. Yeah, good. And then this way. Three, two, one. <laughs> Whee! Slid so down the hole. Straight. Right hand on this back handle here. So you're going to bring your right leg up and over the front and then we're going to sh come to here. Before we lay flat, I need you to shuffle your bum just off the saddle this way yeah. oh, to there, that's then lie flat. Have your elbow into your side because that's going to be your support. Look up at the sky, <laughs> lie back, there, lie back. Oh, the whole, hold your leg, come on! Oh. What a disaster, what a disaster. <laughs> Nice straight shuffle off this way. Elbow into your side. Good. Look at the sky. And then look towards this way. Look towards, there you go. That's perfectly flat. Did you get that? Good, because it might be the only one of the day. Hopefully not. Right, now sit up. And as you sit up, you're going to shuffle your bum to the middle. There, so you're balanced yeah. before you bring your leg back. There you go. Perfect. So we need your stirrups for the next one. Um, I'm just going to show you. We do anything. Yeah? What? <laughs> so when we're in this position here, we're gonna jump up, we're gonna push down with our hands. I want my feet to be facing outwards. Cowboy. Yeah? Um, heels further in. The shoulders wanna be back, and then just like a normal squat, just gonna stand up, shoulders back. To dismount, we want our legs to be straight. So either we can come down to here, split our legs to there. Look, I'm stopping here by squeezing against the saddle so I don't crush my nuts for one, and two, I don't hurt the horse. I can't be heavy on the horse, I've got to be light. Um, but you want those legs to be straight. And when, you, when you've got momentum, it's easier to just jump down without holding the pommel. Yeah. So just sort of stand up, jump down, and as you're sort of jumping down, it goes into a smooth motion. But again, you want to be soft on the horse. What, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> I want to go like that. look over there. Just got to jump. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now you've actually right. committed. Now you know yeah. it's possible. I'm sorry the stirrups don't go any shorter because that would I'm make it. I say this is not helpful, Freddie. That is my entire leg length. They're on the shortest hole. <laughs> but you can do it even without stirrups. Just push with your hands. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Climb, 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 climb. Go on, make it happen. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <sighs> yeah, there you go. So now you want to walk backwards a little bit. There, so you hit a little bit more. So your heels, are, there you go. Shoulders back, stand up straight. Just stand up, like a squat. You say you go to the gym. I do. Right, there you go. This is very high. I thought you said you didn't mind heights. And just, really just, like just stand there and chill to learn the position, because we're not even on the horse yet, and the horse is going. Okay. Good, so if you just put your heels down. Oh, okay. Move your feet around a little bit, move them back a little bit, because you've realised actually 
it is quite stable when you find the right spot. Yeah. <laughs> it's the wobbly bit. When you're up, fine. When you're down, fine. Okay. Three, two, one. Stand up. Come back down. Squats. Ten squats. Go. Shoulders back. One. Two. Three. Four. <laughs> five. Do you remember when you learnt riding? They said don't look at the floor. You'll end up there. Yeah. Yeah. Back. <laughs> it comes back into play. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> that shoulder there. Okay. There. There. Yeah. Right. Hold your neck. Hold your neck straight. <laughs> I'm trying. Take your bum. <laughs> okay. Back to sitting. Um. Stop. Up. Ow. Sit up. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, go. Go, legs up, legs up, point them to the sky. Take your bum. Ten. I'm tensing! Okay, come back. Go, feet up, feet up. Push, push your chest into the horse. There. Three. Hold your legs. Hold your legs. I am! Kind of straight. Zip up your chest. <laughs> yeah, zip up, zip up, zip up, zip up. Okay, straight legs to start with. You're going to roll into it. Three, two, one, go. Press into the horse, feet together, point to the sky. Yep. There, straight. Hold it. There, straight. Good. Zip up jacket, fling. And you see how there I give you a bit of fling? Yeah, there it is. Look at that. It looks smoother. Put it there. <laughs> Get me off this thing. Yeah. <laughs> So once I'd had a practice, it was time to swap Dizzy for a real horse. So this is the beautiful Leia, who I will be practicing some of my new skills on today. But first, Freddie is going to give us a demonstration of how it's meant to be done. Come on, you'll be alright. Right, let's go. I don't even have reach, so hands don't get my leg in there. Well, I put them short so you could reach, like... Reach what? Like when you're sitting on her, because you're moaning there too long earlier. Maybe, come around, face this way. Yeah. You got it. Sorry, love. Oh. That, that, the, the, the... What? Rewind. No, stay there. Rewind. Thank you. Now fast forward. Perfect. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. And back sitting. Yeah. So there, where you just lent your hip in a little bit more. Do it again, but as you bring your leg over, keep it straight. Three, two, one. Good. And back in. Lovely. Feet out of the stirrups. Leg over. Because there's a thing there. Yeah. But your um, your leg overs are quite high earlier, so it's fine. Shuffle. 
face, face, shoulders forward. There you go, there. And back sitting normally. Oh, sorry. It's all right. And then the other way. If you lean back a little bit as you're bringing it over, you'll be able to get your legs up more. Perfect. And back sitting normally. There, look at that. Look at that flexibility. God, been doing a yoga. You're going to bring that left leg over the front. Okay. I'm going to shuffle off this way a little bit. Yep. Elbow in, lie flat. Look where your horse is going. Perfect. And sit back up to the diagonal. Shuffle, shuffle. Yes, now back. Lovely. That was very elegant. Very elegant. One. Go. Jump, push. Big push with your hands. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Yes. Okay, stand strap straight. First, while you crouch. Take that, take that to your ear. Tension. Now stand up. No, with the tension on that. Does that make sense? Because if you lean forward, you're unbalanced. Yeah. Okay. Reach down for the pommel. Keep your legs straight. And then jump down. Legs as brakes. Three, two, one. Just a little jump. There you go. Perfect. So as you stand up from the crouch, you want to keep that tight and balance yeah. on that. Okay. Yeah, good. Okay, three, two, one. Go. Good. Stand up straight. Stay crouched. Stay crouched. Stay crouched. Shuffle your feet back. Now get your stand strap this bit and tension on that. No, come back down. Shoulders back. Lean on that. Now stand up like a squat. There, because that's going to keep your balance more. The biggest mistake is people lean forwards. Yeah. You want to, have you ever done water skiing? No. Well, I, I imagine it's like that. I've never done it either. No. I've never done water skiing either, but I imagine legs up. If you get those legs up, they'll not pull you down this way. Okay. How's that? Get legs up. Feet, keep your feet together. Face, shoulders forward. Yeah. Good, there, there. Yep. <laughs> All right, back to sitting normally, go. There you go, first one done on the move, look at that. How was that, all right? Yeah, okay. Good, okay, let's go again. Three, two, one, go. Nice. There you go, good, and back to sitting normally. As soon as you get those feet up, it stops you getting yeah. pulled down there. Okay, and again, three, two, one, go. Lock those knees together, ankles together. Good. And back sit normally. Okay. Down that next long side, we're going to do a lay across the saddle. <laughs> okay, so catch your breath now. Yeah. Okay, a little puff. <laughs> okay, right hand on the back handle. Yeah. Three, two, one, leg over. Shuffle your bum off. Lie flat. Look where your horse is going. There, that's nice and flat. Look at that. Shoulders up, head flat. Try and catch the rainwater in your ear. So your head, look there. Head flat. There, there, there. And back sitting diagonal. And bring your leg up. Nice, look at that strength. Oh, love it, right, let's have a rest. Okay, jump up. Three, two, one. Good, walk your feet to the back a little bit. Okay, good. Stay crouching. Okay. I'm just gonna walk around like that. <laughs> just to begin with, just so you can this is the bit where you've just got to trust me and just jump into it. This is the easy bit. Oh, is it? <laughs> did, we keep, did we pick that up on camera? Oh, is it? <laughs> Are you regretting your life choices yes. now? Okay. <laughs> so, stand strap straight. Stand strap straight. And do you have to stand up quickly. Three, two, one, go. Stand up quickly, pull out to your shoulder and pull backwards. You need to pull that back with three, two, one, go. Move your feet to the back, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Stand up straight. Okay, you're gonna lean, pull it back. There, stand up, pull it, pull it against it. Pull it back, pull it back, pull it back. There, you need to stand up like that. There you go. That's the worst that happens. Let's do the lay at trot. Okay? Yeah. So I need you, trot's like, it's going to bounce you all over the place. Yeah. So I need you to almost be like a plank of wood, like resist from the bounce. Down. I might even trot to doing this yet. Have you not? No. Oh, you'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> this man is going to kill me. Okay, three, two, one, go. Good. Good, life flat. Are you holding on? No. Okay. Hold. Hold 
strong, 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 strong. Back to sitting. Bring your leg over. Go. Yes. <laughs> yes. Bum here. Well, I know what you're going to do. Okay. So. You the saddle slightly. <laughs> your stability is leaning backwards. Yep. Okay. Because her neck's going to be up in the trot, and the further, the quicker we go, the higher her head is, so the more balanced it is. Yep. But I need you to remember to lean back. To look around at the slides. Okay, let's go for a trot. All you have to do is sit there. Come on, Leia. How's that? Okay. That's an easy to lean back. There you go. Leia, slow down. That's all right. Lean back. There. Good. Good. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. What am I doing? Stand in the stirrup. Oh, okay. Three, two, one, go. Ooh, that was not graceful. There you go. Back sit normally. Three, two, one, go. Straight, go. Yes, there. Right, hold it. Up. Come on, lazy bones. Come on. Hips facing the front. And back sit normally. Whee! Three, two, one, go. Stay in the middle. And back sit normally. Good. Good. Lean backwards, backwards. Lean backwards. Lean backwards. <laughs> oh, I don't like okay. this. <laughs> Get that leg over there. <laughs> Where did it? Yeah, that leg over. Why have you just stopped doing? You've stopped everything. Like, nothing's working. <laughs> what are you doing? What's making you move? <laughs> so trick riding, a lot harder than it looks. I don't know how Freddie makes it look so easy. But for the next part, we're going a bit more back to what my comfort zone is, and that is sitting on the horse facing forwards. So we're going to be jumping Leia, and we are going to be jumping her over fire, so please do not try this at home. Leia is obviously a completely trained horse, and working with a professional, and it's a very specific setup. So we're going to be trying jumping over fire. Okay fire. Yeah! You just got a canter. Oh, bit windy. Leg, 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 leg. <laughs> Go on again before it dies. Oh, that was well good. Canter, let's go. Forward. And just to prove that I was wimping out about going backwards, Freddie got on Leia and actually jumped her backwards, which is something I will not be doing anytime soon. <laughs> So once I'd done all the trick riding my body could take, every muscle in my body was 
aching. We then put Leia away so she could have a rest. And we got Ozzy out. So this is Ozzy. He is a young horse of Freddy's. And he has been teaching him some liberty work. Now I have actually worked with Freddy um, doing some natural horsemanship with Smokey. Um, and you'll see that in an upcoming video as well. And basically we started teaching Smokey the very basics. And today he's going to show me a bit more with Ozzy of what you can achieve through liberty and natural horsemanship. So he started by just showing me and then I'm also going to have a go. So as Freddie mentioned before, it's not just the trick riding he does, that is a big part of what he does, but he actually mainly teaches um, natural horsemanship and works with behavioural issues in horses um, and just does it all through the natural horsemanship way of finding, you know, a nice round balanced horse. So you can see he's teaching Ozzy um, and doing a bit of training with him. He's taught him this before. Um, so it's just a lot of training, just like our schooling, it's just groundwork on the flat. And then I got to have a play, but really me and Ozzy just wanted to have a snuggle. Turn your tummy. Then when you want to call him in, call him backwards. Whistle. Good boy. Nice. So One thing I've found since doing a lot more groundwork and being introduced to natural horsemanship is it's actually so much harder than it looks. You have to be very quick and very precise, but Ozzy is very well trained, so it does make me look a lot better than I am. But I just wanted to say a massive thank you to Freddie for teaching me to trick ride today, giving me an introduction and letting me work with your amazing horses. I had the most fantastic day. Obviously, before I go, I just want to say, please do not try this at home. Obviously, Freddie is a professional. He has trained for many years. Um, so, yeah, don't just try and jump on your horses or anything. I don't want anyone getting injured. But thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out all the links to Freddie's socials down below as well. And I will see you all soon. Bye, guys. <laughs> Good boy. Get your fiver because you don't have to do anything.